Oh my god. Uh, I'm Anthony Birch. I'm your daddy master, and I was I was a hundred percent certain that we were gonna get kind of gay. I was not a hundred percent certain it would happen in literally the very first episode. <laughs> And we're a bunch of traveling emissaries from the land of... I go, what are you doing? We were about to say we're a war party. <laughs> <laughs> I've clearly not heard the... the I hold, the, I hold, I'll put my mouth over Daryl's mouth. You put your mouth over Daryl's mouth? My hand. No, no, he can't take it back. You can't, can't take, take it back. back. My eyes you can't take it back. I, feel I something. silence his dumb ass with a kiss. <laughs> I find some, <laughs> something tingles deep down inside of me. And I feel love for the first time in a long time when he puts his mouth on mine. I, I t- <laughs> As Glenn holds his guitar, I turn to the other dads and I said, hey, maybe, just maybe, he's going to be the one that saves us. Without missing a beat, I say, a group of uh, peaceful, uh, loving uh, warriors uh, from... L- 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 he-, he holds out a hand and says... It's clear you were trying to make something up right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I let was, me tell you. I was going to hear you out, but then one of you kissed the other, and sort of whatever you were about to say kind of stopped making a lot of sense. It was hot, though, right? So we're just going to go ahead and get it down to brass tacks. Hey, wait. You go, I, go. I, I stopped Daryl with another kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I can sense he's blowing it. And I take that kiss, and I go, thank you, my... Number one, and I look at him. I look back. He's like, "You're right. Grant is a piece of shit, and that's why I need him back so I can punish him correctly for losing Lincoln." Fair, fair. I will tell you where Grant is. Excellent. Only Grant, though. Well, uh, so that you that's may find with uh, fine with me. Is that fine with you? Number one. <laughs> and I look at Henry. <laughs> <laughs> You know what would really punish Grant would be if we killed all of Grant's friends in front of him. Uh, Eleven. <laughs> he doesn't, sorry, he doesn't believe. No! And I, and I look at him, I go, I know he doesn't seem very persuasive. And then I slap, I slap Henry on the butt. Go, you roll first, roll first. Okay, um, I have a plus two to slide a hand. Natural fucking 20! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are I, you fucking kidding I me? Want, can, I, can I just say, the moment he's doing it, though, I kiss the Lance. Oh, my God. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> this is how we do greetings yeah, in how we West it. Rock. I, go, I kiss him. I go, thank you, as I'm kissing him. Like a full lip. <laughs> yes. He doesn't notice at all. He's so busy getting deep-tongued. <laughs> 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 that the sound the sound of Daryl's slobbering jaw it overwhelms the sound of the paper getting ripped out of his ledger. <sighs> I'm thinking about Henry when I kiss the Lance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, dads, do we think that uh, Daryl's handshake or his kiss is more trustworthy? <laughs> what is the truer? I explained to him hastily that this is uh, the manner of greeting and uh, uh, of appreciation of uh, our people. That much is obvious. Yeah, I think he understood. Given, given purely how many times you've done it in the 70 seconds you've been in my home. Henry, I want to give you a uh, most improved... <laughs> Award. Yes, I think you did a really great job. And if it wasn't for him, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't know where, where our kids are. So let's give uh, let's give Henry a little round of applause. Give a oh, light. thanks everybody. Uh, sorry, I introduced the kissing thing as uh, something we might have to maintain now as part of our cover. <laughs> it's uh, okay. I think as long as we don't meet the Lance again. <laughs> I think Ron is the best man for the job. Because he's the smallest target, but the biggest in some ways. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, the biggest target. I wink at Ron. <laughs> Yes, yes, this is great, this is great. I will, I step out of the van. I say, good luck, big boy, and I, I give you a slap on the butt as you get out of the minivan. You reach way over to get that <laughs> yeah, butt slap yeah. in. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chef Boreanus. <laughs> that name snaps me out of looking at the orgy. And I turn, and I feel like for a second he does look like David Boreanaz. He looks exactly kind of like David Boreanaz. <laughs> he looks just like him. And he looks like peak David Boreanaz, like season five of Angel David Boreanaz. Yeah. It's like I the- would go season three, but let's go on. <laughs> I go, oh, uh, hi, I'm... <clears throat> I'm Will Willie. I'm Daryl Will. I'm Daryl. Daryl. Hi. Nice to meet you. I put my hand out. He puts out his hand for a handshake, and it is so strong. <laughs> it is the strongest handshake you've ever had. Oh, got quite a grip there, buddy. Um, I'm 
I'm Wilson, Daryl, and uh, these are my my friends, uh, Henry, Henry and uh, Hi, I'm Beth. I mean, I'm Ron. <laughs> <laughs> I know somebody who would like you though. Her name is Beth. <laughs> <laughs> so he looks you all over with a discerning gaze. And he I shiver. <laughs> <laughs> Involuntary shiver. He, he, he draws a single finger across his chin in thought, and he says, at the count of three, all of you are going to tell me what your purpose here is. He excuses for one moment, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Mr. Boreanis, we're going to, uh, we'll be right back. Guys, that guy's really handsome, right? What? I didn't notice. Okay, well, <laughs> I just wanted to clear the air Wait, on that. Is this a real we- dad huddle? This yeah, is yeah, a real dad huddle. Okay, because I could okay. I could stay with with I could stay out of the huddle. Run. Stay with with Bore- okay, 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 okay. Here Here's a run. question: Why is the Lord of Chaos so intent on not looking at the sex pit? That's what I want to know. That's very interesting to me because that to me, gentlemen, seems like a weakness to be exploited. Here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> this is out of character. This is I'm Henry. listening. Oh, this is, I'm listening. Are saying we all get down? <laughs> If we all fuck in front of the Lord of Chaos, he won't know what to I'm do. I'm saying, what is the ultimate right, chaos? Henry, Henry, Henry whispers to his his bros, if things go south in this arena, here's what I'm thinking, is if we can't handle the monsters, what is going to impress the Lord of Chaos more than getting a little crazy ourselves? I just, Hail Mary throws, I think we all got to get naked. Yeah, I mean, if we can't go out fighting, we should go out fucking. Because then, like, because he's, what? what is he looking away for? Because then he'll true, be looking. That's a good point. We, we show him what he doesn't want to look at, and maybe he'll respect that. Yeah, we want to go out swinging one way or the other. Wink, 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 <laughs> if wink, If I remember wink, wink, wink. from one of my favorite movies is 300, and I did some research, and I remember. Of course it is. And I remember the Spartans <laughs> would fight, like, naked to, like, intimidate their enemies. I, I like what you're getting at, Henry. So maybe, we, do you saying we should get nude I before just start, we do- I just start, <laughs> Daryl Wilson gets naked. <laughs> And I'm holding my golf club naked, ready to fight. I'm like, uh, let's do this. Come on, Ron, let's show us what you got. I look over at my buddy and I shrug, and I'm like, I mean, I guess we're fighting naked. We're fighting naked. That's how the buddy system works. Oh, save your sons, Henry. Uh, oh, it's going to, if, if everyone's naked but me, then I'm the naked one. And that's weird because, like, it's just, I'm a conformist. I'm going to go along with it. And I take off my naked. clothes. Okay, all right. Okay. All, all right. right. All right. I, t- I take off, I, Ron takes off his pants, and then there's another pair of pants underneath <laughs> of, the, of that pair of pants. Okay. Come on, Ron, let's do this. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, before before you decide to so you're all naked, huh? We're naked. Well, we're Except naked. for Ron who's got like Anthony looks very upset. <laughs> Henry, I didn't poison you. Bullshit, man. If You've been out you, for me for since forever. If I poisoned you, would I do this? I kiss him on the lips. Okay, well all those things transfer to you then. <laughs> What if, let me throw this out there, a little, little proposal mm-hmm. from Henry. What if we, one of us pretends to be like the stage manager, mm-hmm. and then we say we need to see three of the members of the band out like around the corner, mm-hmm. and then when they're around the corner, we'll put our charm juice on, and we'll be like groupies and get them to take their robes <laughs> off. Yeah, we'll seduce mm. them we'll out of seduce their robes. seduce them out of their <laughs> robes. And then we'll put like their robes this. on, oh and maybe God. we'll tie them up or something. We'll get there. Is that a... I, I like what you're thinking, Henry. Let me take a. Daryl looks up there, and they're all they're all men, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're saving our sons here. No, no. I, what, what did I look like? I was acting and, weird. No, that sounds like a great. We're going like to tie them plan. up. We're going to tie them up in this non BDSM podcast. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to seduce them. It's like, <laughs> but I think we got to talk yeah. them out of their clothes. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's some sort of strip poker game. Henry. Uh, Let's just seduce him. <laughs> no. I, I don't know how to put this, but... Daryl's already putting it on. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I hear you. I hear you, Henry. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm rubbing it. Wait, I'm doing it like Carol taught me. I, I put that is it, I'm rubbing on the, miming it. Put it on my there. wrist. Put it on my neck. He's how literally it, miming it. How's it smell, Henry? You both smell fantastic. That's so charming of you to yeah. say. Thank you. Well, thank you. That's so charming of you to be complimentary of so my charming. charming. Ron, you're you got a nice voice, Ron. Oh, you haven't <laughs> even. I, I the stampler hasn't even begun to sing. Maybe should we just do we need to do this now, or do you want to just like go get some beer? Hey, hey what? fellas, focus up, focus up. All right, okay. Me and Nick are gonna get the band ready for our stuff because we gotta get ready here. Best oh. of luck to you. Get back there. Get in that band. Okay. Hey, uh, hey, uh, 
Glenn. Oh, God. Daryl kind of looks over. It's like, kick ass out there, man. <laughs> Gives you a wink. Uh, uh, Nick looks at you. He's like, you could have just said, just say rock and roll. Hey, Nicholas. Fuck, we fucking say rock and Nicholas, roll. Nicholas. What? Fucking rock and roll, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mm, I think this is, the, I think this perfume is going to some people's heads. <laughs> yeah, but these guys. <laughs> hit, hit on a man. Do it, Matt. Hit on me. <laughs> no, nah, I know you play bass. We heard you. It sounds really good. I got uh, two guys there that they're, you know, we're starting our own band. And they're trying out. I think you could, I think you could give them a few points. If you don't mind, if you could give them just a few pointers before you start playing, we're really excited to hear you play. Yeah, sure. So he All looks right. over at the other two and he goes, you just got to play from the heart. Like play. <laughs> I play like you mean it. Oh, it's about the music in your soul. Uh, dude, that's uh, great. It's a little loud, though. Here. I, I raised my hand. <laughs> yeah, you with you the raise hand raise. Hi, Henry O. Henry Oak here. Uh, <laughs> we can't hear you give your good bass advice over the noise of this crowd. Perhaps we could take this conversation someplace more intimate. So the bassist is like, for you? Yeah, I, I think I have some stuff I could teach you. <laughs> All right. I wink at Henry. Well, Hell yeah. Okay, let's 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 uh, let's go to that dark corner over there. Hey, you got you know two other friends that want to maybe come and party for a little bit before you guys play. Oh. <laughs> you, we need three cloaks. I mean, we oh. need. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? We need three blokes. What did you, what did you just say? Three three blokes. Uh, roll persuasion with advantage with the three blokes thing. The the bassist goes three blokes. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Usually you got to do this kind of stuff after the concert, but apparently I'm on my game today. And we like it. We like it deep, like bass. God. <laughs> you just you just hit me so hard, you <laughs> broke me out of character. So do we pass the other members of this band? Yeah, so the bassist like turns back to the other two members of the band that are not the guy with the blonde hair. He goes like, hey, and puts his fingers together. Um, nice. And then they, they all kind of- hey, what, what was that gesture you just did? I was saying we're going to go touch dicks. <laughs> That's our thing. What's your thing? Uh, Is it also that? Nuddled. We all come together. No, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> nice. We should, we'll all come together. <laughs> nice, and we'll talk says. about we, nice, what, we like, what we like to do. Let's uh, the go first to that part thing. of that sentence that said nice. <laughs> all right. Let's go around to that dark corner and, uh, and let's yeah, talk. We, you know? we come together. Daryl yeah. like awkwardly holds up one of his ropes like, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, boys, <laughs> let's go do it. So he grabs the other two <laughs> by the shoulders and all of them smiling as anything come with you around the back of the stage where it's relatively quiet. That all. <laughs> we'll be right with you, gentlemen. Ron. Ron, I'm not. I'm not judging you. I just feel like I'm. I'm very uncomfortable right now. Uh, I hand my rope to you. Also, I have Daryl has no more ropes anymore. He goes. I feel like I did my part. Um. Uh, yep. He just walks away. Immediately, Darryl the basis is it, like, though. "What's What's going on? Where's he going? Where, where are you going, man?" Uh, he's uh playing hard to get. That's part of his oh, thing. Darryl, that's like, not my kink at all. I okay. I, I, I I take a breath. I go. Just getting myself composed to rock your fucking world. All right, roll persuasion with advantage. Let me uh, try to do that in character based off of my roll of a three. I'm just getting composed so I can <laughs> do things you like. <laughs> so with my three persuasion, <laughs> the bassist looks at you and then just kind of like grimaces and then turns to Henry and Ron and is like, "Can we just just us? Just can we just make a five sum instead of a six? Oh, that's great. That's Super not into that guy. By the way, nice to meet you, blokes. I put my hand out. Very nice. I hope you I five even, have a great time. Even the idea of having physical contact with you right now that's is kind of okay. Just nasty. I appreciate it. We're, we're just nervous. Henry here is really he's the one. Gentlemen, who most if you will all just calm down for one moment, I, the leader of this trio, will explain the very specific kink we have <laughs> that makes all of this make sense. <laughs> De desperate to hear it. Absolutely okay. desperate to hear it. So where we're from, we, uh, the, where are we from again? We're from the far off land of West Rock. We take part in an elaborate courtship ritual. All right. Uh, the first step of which is to invite your prospective mate to a dark secluded corner. Mm. Uh, as you can see plainly, yeah, as you, we have done. You nailed that. The second step of which is one of the three Leaves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because he feels shame. No, no. Yeah, sure. Because yeah. I have to commit to the thing you said. Because <laughs> we're all part of the same thing. It makes the prospect of the hunt all the more alluring. Uh, and the, shameful. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then <laughs> there is the third part of the ritual known as the 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 bonding of the self. 
in which now you come to the aid of Ron I, I by rescuing that's a problem. him. <gasps> Help me. See, it's like a, and then once you've saved him, we all trade clothes so that we may walk a mile in each other's shoes, and then we get down to business. So, so we have sex with each other's clothes on? Well, we, we trade clothes, and then we assume each other's identities, essentially by trading clothes. And then we take each other's clothes back off, and it's like we are stripping bare not only our lover, but ourselves. We want to be you, and then we want to be in you. <laughs> okay, so the bassist puts his hands on one hand on Henry's shoulder and one hand on Ron's shoulder, and he says, what you just described... <laughs> is the weirdest, maybe most horrible kink I've ever heard in my entire life. And I'm so very interested to see where it goes. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, he and his two friends disrobe and then hold their clothes out to you. Okay. So Great. Am I still like tied up though? <laughs> uh, I, I, I untie okay, Ron. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you. you I, I, oh, sorry. I was supposed to do that. It was yeah, part of the thing. Fine. Me, it's your I, first I messed time. up. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll make it work. <sighs> Okay. All right. You can turn around. They do. Okay. They uh, do. Cool. Okay, cool. So here's what happens now is that... We undress well, each no, other. As I, as I said, we walk a mile in each other's shoes first. Oh, like literally? Like a, It's like part of the, <laughs> it's part of the extended foreplay is oh, that boy. now we go on stage and you guys go in the audience. So you, you're going to play instead of us? Yeah, isn't that crazy? So all the applause is going to go to you and not us. But you get to watch. And isn't that hot? The the bassist looks looks at you for a second and sort of scratches his cheek and bites his lip and he <laughs> says, "What you've just described is extremely humiliating." And because I am a bassist, <laughs> You've discovered my kink. <laughs> and so yes, we will we will we can send to remain tied up while you perform for us. Oh, they're not tied up. They're not tied up. But that's great. If that'll yeah. help you out, we can do that for sure. Do you want to be tied up? I mean, yeah, kind of. Yeah, I it would help out uh I Daryl Wilson we, here. Half, it would help half me the out. reason we came back here is because we okay. saw the ropes. Okay. So okay. Like, do you right. want a bow tie or a double knot? Oh, that's very cute. I'll do it. <laughs> so he, he, take, he takes the rope from you and he ties his friends up. Sorry for taking those scissors. Yeah, I'm uh, a little nervous. Yeah, no, I gotta. I keep gotta them. get on yeah, stage. Yeah, that's so he feels safe while he's doing the you know our our elaborate yeah. ritual here. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. We can trust him. Our Everybody, song of courtship. Daryl Wilson says, "Guys, I just want to know that this is definitely outside of my comfort zone, and all five of you have been been pretty great so far. This is I appreciate it." Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, I, feel, I feel like we've been pretty good. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. And we're going to go be bad musicians now. If you're going to humiliate us, you're going to have to do a lot better job than that. Okay. Well, really nice. oh, we'll try. And then he tries to wink. No, it's not how you humiliate. Wow. Wow. You have to be. It's fine. You'll figure it out. All, All right, right, guys. Let's get the hell out of here. Does <laughs> reading about. lips mean that you can kiss better now? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Is that I what they call so. it when you go I guess in? Daryl will find out soon. <laughs> no. Daryl didn't think his son was ready at 10 years old to learn about the sweet love making that happened. He didn't get Tom any of the subtext in the volleyball scene. No, no Daryl <laughs> does not get any of the subtext in the volleyball scene. <laughs> yeah, you know, Kenny Loggins wrote that song Every for time, What was it called again? Oh, that's right. Playing with the boys. <laughs> Every time that volleyball scene goes on, Daryl points at them and goes, hey, you know, back in the day in college, your, your dad looked like that. And then I give you a finger guns for letting me know. And that. I finger gun you back and I wink. Nice, and I come. <laughs> um, Beth, uh, Ron okay. came, but he didn't wink. Yeah, so Beth has disadvantage on charisma checks. Oh, damn. Freddie has advantage, Beth has disadvantage. <laughs> Ron has a disadvantage for came. another reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Ron, I say this knowing you just shot a load into your pants. <laughs> it sounded... <laughs> Boy, this is what, a, really, what an episode. How does Ron have the healthiest marriage here? <laughs> <laughs> so Daryl is overwhelmed at Henry's courage as he uh, rears up and takes these ferocious hits. He, he imagines Henry's uh, children not having a dad anymore. Whoa. And he goes, you son of a bitch, that beautiful man in his wonderful Birkenstocks, which are really nice designer hipster sandals with wonderful s s straps and usually made of leather. Y you're not going to let him die. Oh, also when you say... Birkenstocks, uh, your shoes explode and they appear on your feet. <laughs> <laughs> 
I look at the bear and I smile. I go, son of a bitch, you're right. These are comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> the Birkenstocks were in you all along, Daryl. <laughs> Daryl uh, starts crying. <laughs> Daryl's crying. Whoa, Daryl. <laughs> just, just start crying. Daryl, D- Just hey, holding hey, this hey, trophy. Hey, hey man. Hey, it's okay. I, I give Daryl a big hug. Hey, Daryl, what's going on, man? Just talk to me, okay? Uh, I just shouldn't have really named that dog Grant before I knew whether or not he was going <laughs> to let me hug him. That really... <laughs> Oh, shit, that's very good. Oh, no! Daryl, just... Daryl, you can call me Grant. Uh, that's going to be a little... I appreciate it. Sorry, I just had to Grant get that out for a little I'll bit. I'll let you pat my head. It's okay, man. Let's all just, I just you know... want somebody to pat my head. No, that's okay, Ron. How about just a big group hug? Okay. Can we get a group hug over Let's here? Let's get a big group hug. Someone pat Ron's head in the group hug. I'll pat Ron's head. Oh, thanks. Now, that's not a dad huddle. It's a dad huggle. Oh, oh, that's like kind of that. nice. Hey, <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I just needed to let a little bit out. Thanks, guys. Okay, well, next time, if you want to let a little more out, you just let us know, and or just go ahead and do it. It's okay. okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay, you sure? Yeah, I'm good. You, where, where are these trophies? That yeah. was good. I'm, I'm, yeah. Woo. Uh, well, hmm. It's Glenn. It's Glenn. <laughs> it's Glenn, all right. Glenn, we just saw you. That flim flame man scam likely made off with our dough. Wait, he looked like me? He looked exactly like you. So he looked pretty fucking hot, right? <laughs> Very. So, uh, I I turn to scam likely. I unzip my fly and I take off a pair of pants. Then I stare at scam likely and then I unzip my fly and I take off a pair of pants. <laughs> then I stare <laughs> at scam likely and I take off a pair of pants. And then I take off another couple pairs of pants. And then I look at all the dads and I'm like, I take off a couple pairs of pants. <laughs> Then I look deep wants within us to my take soul. Off our pants. <laughs> I look deep within myself. Deeply my moved, soul. Henry takes off his <laughs> pants in solidarity with Ron. Oh, I see your dick. Oh no. <laughs> Ron takes off a pair of pants and hands it to Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Henry puts those pants on. And then at last, after 15 or 20 minutes, <laughs> the last pair of pants <laughs> comes off. Revealing. <laughs> Feeling that um, Ron is like totally sexy and well endowed, and he's wearing like really hot boxers. (laughs) What do the boxers look like? They they say just like cool guy over and over again. (laughs) We have to sell that in the merch store. (laughs) Dude, you you look good, man. Yeah, work out. That's like Dilf. That's the, the sort of body I think Carol wants me to have. That's like the Dilf body. Um, <laughs> well, sure, you've done well with the mercenaries that you have, but maybe if you watch somebody else handle them, you'd get even better. Babe. Wow. <laughs> okay, so roll persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> so that is, yeah, that is two jewels. He holds out his hand and like sticks his butt out a little bit and sort of bows. Uh, I... I hold the money in with two hands and stick out my butt a little bit and bow and put it in his hands. I stick out my butt a little bit. <laughs> are there seat warmers in the Honda? Odyssey? Only in the front yeah, two seats. Front so uh, who's, who's sitting in the front Whose seat buns with me? Buns are toasty. Shotgun. All right, so Henry's yeah. getting them buns warm. Hey, scoot over, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, sure, Ron. Shove on in. Do you want to share one of these bun warmers? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Okay, sure. all right. It's not sure. normally not as safe as I'd like to ride in a minivan, but considering that there's no other cars on the road, I think we can risk it. Let's get that seatbelt around both of you guys. All right. Okay. okay. All right. And I, I reached the seatbelt around him. We Wait, both. I got to suck in a little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of get in close to Daryl. I say, listen, Daryl, this car's a treasure. And you better be keeping up on those oil changes and filter changes. I lean in closer. I'm like, you think I've ever let this baby get fucking 500 miles within an oil change? Are you kidding me? <laughs> and I lean in closer. I say, you think that changing an oil every 500 miles is a proper fucking care schedule for a car? I lean in closer and I say, you think I fucking jiffy loop this bad? You are literally you nose think, to nose. You don't think I change this oil myself with premium oil I export from fucking Germany and I do this myself? You think I trust anybody else to oil change this car? And I get even closer. I'm like, <laughs> now you're lip to lip. Daryl? <laughs> now his lips move along in synchronism and mine is like he's saying the same thing. Yeah, like, our lips God, are moving at the same speed. Daryl, you of all people should know that a Japanese car should not be taking European <laughs> oil. And on top of that, every 500 miles is way too fast of a schedule for a car because you should be at least a thousand to three thousand in order for the oil to get in on all the sides of things. I lean in closer and now my tongue is in his mouth and I go, hey, Glenn, 
do you think you could tell me where you can get Japanese oil? I, I'm so embarrassed. I've been using the wrong oil. Yeah, just check the AutoZone. You got to just look it up and ask for Japanese specific fluids. That's all. I appreciate that, Glenn. I slowly stop. Like, nobody even notices we stopped. Is how smooth my braking is. So I bring the van to a stop. <laughs> Glenn's nap is totally undisturbed by this. <laughs> all right, go. All right, everybody, wait for the car to come to a complete stop. Before- oh, <laughs> Daryl, you did stop. Nice job. That's right. I wink in the rearview mirror. I go, that's right, baby. <laughs> like it's Larkin and Sparrow both like, kiss, kiss, kiss. What? <laughs> you already kissed the one of them. Now do the other. What? When did we kiss? I didn't kiss. Any- no, me and... <sighs> That was called arguing. That's what me and Glenn were doing. We were Passionate arguing. Passionate men <laughs> arguing over When a over mommy and daddy love each other very much, they Grant's argue. Grant's like, I wanted to argue with the heat. Aww. As I launch up, first I fly past Nick, and I give Nick a pat on the back because not slapping a kid on the butt. And I say, good game, Nick. And then I slap Daryl on the butt, and I slap Glenn on the butt, and I say, good game, good game. And then I flip in the air and stick my landing. Henry's got one end. Dennis has the other. Daryl, who is in the sidecar next to Henry, like, you know, because he always stays close to Henry, he leans over Henry's lap, Aww. and then he <laughs> is the one who's going to unpin the sidecar. And I look at Dennis, and I say, Dennis, just like the pyramid, bro. And I throw him a wink, <laughs> and then I toss him the uh, other end of the vine. You got it, buddy. Run under his breath. Says, this is not just like the pyramid. Okay, so Daryl walks away. He's like, I'm going to go get some sleep. Yeah, for sure. I'll be right there, Daryl, for sure. I don't know why I'm telling you that I'll be right there when you go to sleep. But <laughs> <laughs> Daryl just turns my around. are all limber from the fucking spa. I'm ready, Daryl. <laughs> Daryl just turns around and goes, uh, you got your own route. Okay. Right, <laughs> yeah, right, away. right, 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 for sure. <laughs> I look at Ron and go, hey, Ron, have you ever heard of good cop, bad cop? No. <laughs> okay, so- Just kidding. Uh, that's me being the bad cop, right? Pretending to not know what good cop, bad cop oh, is. Oh, great. What cop do you want me to be? I think you're a great bad cop. You're just such a bad dude, you know? <laughs> just call me bad just- again. <laughs> <laughs> Ron rolled and not fall in love with Jody. Uh oh. Henry gives Daryl the official dad sign of like, if you're ready to start some shit, I'll back you up, which is the reverse up nod. The <laughs> the, the sup. Uh, the sup. As the sup. Henry is supping to Daryl, he's also going to try to tap Ron on the back and cast stone skin to turn Ron's skin as hard Ooh. as stone. Oh, cool. So he's going to simp for Daryl and get Ron rock hard. Yeah, uh, okay. The Glenn. Glenn! Oh Glenn. my God! Hey everybody, ha. how's it going? <laughs> Were you guys trying to rescue me? Yeah, man, yeah, we're trying yeah. to bust you out. Oh my God, you're so oh old God, and Glenn. cool and sexy now with that badass <laughs> eye patch. <laughs> It's been a pretty wild time. Hey, what year is it? How long has it been? It's been days. It's been like a couple days, man. Yeah. It's been a long ass time for me. Who's this chode? It's me, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it's, like it's like a cramp. It's like a cramp in my leg. Ah, uh, it's my style, guys. My style's being cramped. I don't care so much it hurts. <laughs> Dude, the moment Glenn says it's a cramp, Daryl goes straight into sports medicine mode. He goes, he's like, just rub it out, just rub it out, and he just starts like rubbing your calf. He's you like, can't rub it out. You gotta move it up. You gotta move it up. Gotta move it up. That's how you get rid of the Darryl cramp. Daryl yells, just rub it out, and starts to massage <laughs> Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> just moving his cap up and down. Henry's okay. like, oh, are we doing this? No, <laughs> hey, Glenn, though, I'm really sorry about that your kid isn't cool anymore. And hey, I, thanks, Ron. I'm sorry that that happened to you. And Glenn pulls Ron into a hug and just holds it for a lot longer than you think it should be held. And Aww. Ron cries a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> Ironically, Henry is completely missing all of this tender emotional dad stuff that would normally be his shit because he's just super sad about his broken glasses. <laughs> and he's <laughs> trying to look at his reflection in a nearby pool of water to see if he looks okay. Hey, but you still look great. No, you look good with glasses or without, man. And then reflection from Mulan plays. <laughs> That's I describe how I'm grappling him, which is like that intimate yoga pose where you face each other like face to face. <laughs> like I'm just like bear hugging him, but we're both sitting down. So like those eyes are right in my eyes. Great. OK, yeah, it's definitely making him have some questions he's going to put off until his 20s. <laughs> As you fall, Jody, you remember you are not Jody. You are Zhao Dei, the demon of rock and anger and pain. And you remember that when you were constrained in the battle axe of hatred, that there was one name written on it. And that one name <gasps> became a very big priority to you, that it was somebody that you would try oh, to save shit. at all costs. I I- and that name was, hi, I'm Ron. So as Ron falls, you feel an instinct stronger than almost anything other than your obligation to your son to rescue Ron. The way he's falling, he's going to crack his head on the side of the moat, and it's going to be bad. Mm-hmm, no way. So what are you mm-hmm. going to do in this moment, Jody? 
<laughs> I'm going to look up and I spy Ron with my little eye and I go, I am Ron. And I'm going to teleport and I'm just going to blink out of existence okay. uh, with all my equipment up to 120 feet to right literally where Ron is and just do the thing where it's like when the lines across like it's anime Some like fucking Goku. Goku shit. Yeah. 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 I Goku right up to Ron and literally as Ron's in the air, I Goku with my arms out. So he just gently lands in my warm, <laughs> extremely hot embrace, but I can control my flames. So I use it to make a nice bed for Ron's body and the rest of my body is, you know, it explodes in flames a little more because obviously I have to, you know, temper it here. Now that I am holding Ron and I, I look at Ron and I go, want to go for a ride? <laughs> I, uh, no. <laughs> it's been a really hard day. I look down. Are we above the water now? You are above the water, yeah. Okay, I'm going to literally position Ron to drop down feet first in the way that you would go, and I just let go of him, and so he drops into the water. <laughs> he, drops, he drops harmlessly into the water, like he just jumped off a diving oh, board. Oh, God. <laughs> I just like instead of taking any oh, moment no. to process what just happened, I just get that like eh? like happy look on my face, like oh this is what I'm meant to do, and I spin my head around and I scan below, and obviously I'm not going to hurt Ron. That's completely still against okay. me. All right. <laughs> go, go for Ron's it. My baby boy, Ron's the number one. You know we all love Ron, and I bing, and I flick the badge down to Ron in the water. Oh no, I'm under arrest now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look at Ron just knowingly that you're still my dude and I, I got to protect you. So uh, I'm here for you. Th you look so scary. You, okay. You know how to summon me. You know? How do I summon you? Hey, what about Nick Jr.? Nick Jr. going to get gold too, right? I give a gold to Nick Jr. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. He starts nibbling on I it. I shoot a look to Daryl like, what's going on with hey, the mount? Do you want to deal with it right now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Right now? <laughs> oh, hey, look at these nibbling on it, little guy, huh? Oh, what do I want to remember? Uh, wait, hold on. Let me too deep of a question. What do you want me to look like? <laughs> That's actually not a terrible question, though, because if you want them to look like something that you consider soothing or brings you calm, something that represents safety to you, then when you look back in your old memories, that's what you'll see oh, is yourself good. surrounded by oh, things I that make you feel that safe. For you. you make us whatever you want, then. Okay. Let's see. Henry, if you could be a beagle. Okay. And, um. Oh, I want to be a beagle. Too. Can I be a beagle, too? Actually, could you be a schnauzer? Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a cool dog, too. And then Glenn, um, you can just be Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all Henry right. takes a D4 of psychic damage. Yeah. <laughs> Daryl, like, looks at Henry like, wait, what? Glenn's soothing? <laughs> And Glenn gives a million dollar smile and a thumbs up. Henry gives a like, I mean, uh, Daryl, careful you don't sit on that thing. Hey. And then all of a sudden, I'm, I'm not, trying. It's not about you having a big butt or anything like that. It's okay, just I wasn't going to say that, but now I'm, I know okay, you're all I, looking I, at it. It's not about you having a dump truck ass. <laughs> Thank you, Glenn. I like, see, that sounds good when Glenn says it. Who's with me? None of us are awake yet. <laughs> 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 you but, piece of shit. Like, There's like a sexy tree here to you. Yeah, oh my god, you got to sleep in the arms of the sexy Holy tree. Holy shit, yeah, a sexy tree cradled you to sleep last oh my night, god. bro. Dude, put, Henry parties hard. And things happened between Henry and the tree. As you're saying this to everybody, uh, you can see. No, because I'm going to play in Matt's space. <laughs> All I'll play right. along with Matt. Oh, geez, looks like everyone's still asleep. Well, I better go wake him up. Oh, hey, buddy. How's it going, Henry? You, hey, dude. You look, you're looking great still. Oh, that's so sweet. You and Glenn all curled up like spoons together. Oh, that's yeah. Cute. It was cold. Yeah. It's cold I mean, in what, the hammock. Did you guys have a good conversation it's last night? See, Henry, it's cold in the hammock because you're 360 surrounded by air. That's better to body heat. That's very true. That's a good point. And it looks like, Ron, you, hey, Ron, wake up, buddy. Hey, sorry. You just got to open the uh, the bay windows on my, my sandcastle house. <laughs> it's a... <laughs> it's a... Uh, Aaron's like, come to bed, honey. She wakes up in the bed that she shared polyamorously with Ron and uh, <laughs> Vince. And okay. Goes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh you, you call here too, but it's really important that the kids, these young boys, hear this because Ron, that was really, that's not really a great thing to say about women. So if you don't mind, can you <laughs> tell the kids what you said and why it was inappropriate? Yeah, to Ron, say that. can you apologize to all the kids? <laughs> Henry has never been more attracted to Daryl. Right 
No, I like what you're putting down, though. Yeah, definitely some sort of. That's how you say it. I like what you're putting down. You pick up what you're putting down. Okay. <laughs> it's that... both. Both. You can do both. It works both ways. Like me, canonically bisexual. <laughs> so yeah. No, what I was Finally. thinking. Finally. <laughs> There's some things a gentleman never speaks about. Oh, okay. It's just like a lot. Like you like just came what? back. Uh, you know anything that has to do with matters of the heart. Wait, what like, happened? You had to sounds, guys, sounds guys. like you need to go therapy. I, I pour I, my heart out there for 45 minutes. I did a little pouring myself. Was it for 45 minutes? Uh, it felt like 45 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> but guys, I think maybe our good friend Glenn made love. And <laughs> we should just, you know, respect his privacy around you, okay, that, you know? Okay. Glenn, did you have sexual relations with somebody? <laughs> and he holds his hand up for a high five. I, do you want us to high five you over that? Is that what you want? Like, you know, if it was, good, you know, an emotionally good thing for you to do, I, I support you. And I give him a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Did you imagine that energy? How much better like relationships between men would be if it's like, hey, yeah, bro, it's like I just got laid. Instead of people giving high fives, they just hugged each other. Good for you. Good for that's you. Wonderful. Man. Okay. Well, no, so, that's good, Glenn. Okay. Um, Henry admires that Glenn is a man of conviction and that he's a man who stands up for what he believes in, even if that's just himself a lot of the time. Was this half-assed compliments, um, backhanded ass? And compliments. he also thought Glenn was really hot. I'll put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> Should have like a dad hug. Yeah, let's have a dad hug. Bring it in. Dad a, a dad huggle, dad. if you will. Yeah, yeah. dad huggle. No, this is a dad hug. There's nothing here yeah, other than hug. three dads who love each other. Okay. I'm missing a fourth dad here. Hey, hey, hey Walter, can you get in here real quick? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> 20 minutes of... Two big arms come into a hug. He fist bumps you and rat demon Nick Jr. goes squeak, squeak on your shoulder. And then I guess a portal to hell where a bunch of Christian demons are. Uh, playing Christmas music. Playing Christmas yeah, you music. Hear, you hear jingle bells lightly through yeah. the floor. Christian like, teen demons. <laughs> Don't you forget about me starts playing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you freeze frame as you punch the air. We do cool just like dad handshakes to Glenn. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, just cool dad handshakes to Glenn. Uh, you know what? Bring it in, you guys. Yes. One last dad hug dad, for the road. Dad huddle. We do a dad huddle. We all Everybody do a big hugs. dad hug. Let's turn the camera, hug. camera pans back. And Erin O'Neill is just has her arms crossed and is looking at you. And uh, Vince, her two dimensional boyfriend, comes up and he goes, I'm so sorry I missed everything, but uh, were they good dads at the end? And Erin goes, eh. <laughs>